Approval forms, what are they? They're basically documents or forms that you fill out to ask for permission or agreement from people for something that you want to do or decide on. And why would you need one? Because they help businesses show that they have asked for permission to do certain things which helps them follow the rules and run their business properly. So if you want to learn how to create one in just a few clicks, then keep watching. And before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more useful content and let's get started. Okay, great, so let's start. Head over to the Formula dashboard, click on the blank page so we can create a form from scratch. Here on the left menu in the Edit tab, you can find all the fields you can add to your form. Now let's go to the Design tab and start customizing the look of your form, change the background color, add your logo, and add a background image if you want to. Back to the Edit tab, here you can also add a page break field to separate your single step form into different parts. Awesome! Now in the approval forms, before it gets officially approved, the request would usually be routed to your finance manager or another member of top management. And for this, you will need to add a field to your form to make this process. So here, you can add a single choice field and make it admin only. So this field won't be shown on the form for the users when they are filling the form. This field will be used for the app and manage the status of responses. Great, now it's time to build an app to manage your approval status. To do this, let's go back to the dashboard and click on the form. From the left menu, click on Edit App to start making the status of the approval process. Here we are going to make two blocks on our menu, one for all requests to show the result of the submitted forms and one for the final approval status to categorize the status of the forms by the manager. For the first one, we renamed the result block to all requests and deleted the chart block. Now let's add a page for final approval status and click on the plus add page and select the block, add a title and choose your form from the drop down field here. And now let's use the Kanban view and you can add any field you want to show in your Kanban cards. Just don't forget to click save once you're done. Here you can see two statuses created as approved and rejected which are the two options of our admin-only field on our form like I mentioned earlier. Now let's submit the form just once to add another row as uncategorized in the app. In this case, every form that is submitted will be added to the uncategorized category and the manager can change the status to the approved or rejected column according to the received information. Pretty cool, right? Now for the final step, let's see how you can send an email to the manager whenever a form is submitted to see the results and make decisions accordingly. So let's go to the email templates and add the URL of the app inside the email content box. That way, when a form is submitted, this email will be sent to the managers and they can see the results and complete the approval process. Just don't forget to set up this email template to use for notifying you or your team on your form. And it's super easy to set it up, all you have to do is to open your form, go to the notifications tab and enable the send me a notification email option. Then you can insert your email address and also the email address of the manager who should receive a copy of the submitted data. And then select the template of your form. Great, now when the form is submitted, an email will be sent to the manager and they can see the results and complete the approval process. And that's it, we have created a customized approval form in just a few clicks. You can sign up at Formulu for free and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and please don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share with your friends. Happy Formuluing!